Hello and welcome to Hitch Up and Toe. Uh, today I thought we'd go down to Lord Street in Southport and have a look at the War Memorial. It consists of an obelisk flanked by two colonnades in the form of Greek temples. Outside the colonnades are memorial gardens, each containing a pool of remembrance and fountains. The memorial was unveiled in 1923 by the Earl of Derby. Um, it was designed by local architects Grayson and Barnish, and the carvings were executed by Herbert Tyson Smith. The colonnades in Obelus are constructed of Portland stone. The sculptures and lettered panels are in marble and the Second World War inscription is in Hopton Woodstone. The Obelus stands in the centre of a traffic island with the colonnades to the northeast and southwest and the gardens behind them. Following the Second World War and subsequent conflicts, uh, further inscriptions and names have been added. The obelisk stands 67 feet 6 inches high, or 20.6 metres. It stands on a square pedestal and there are carvings around the base. On the northwest side contains a reef with the inscription, look upwards, stand mute, salute.
Both the colonnades have inscriptions. On the southwest colonnade, on the side facing the obelisk, the inscription says, Faithful to her we fell and rest content. And on the side facing the gardens, the inscription reads, To famous men all earth is secular. On the northwest colonnade, on the side facing the obelisk, it reads, Tell Britannia, ye who mark this monument, and the side facing the gardens, their portion is with the internal. The round all on the southwest face of the obelisk was added in 1956. It was designed by Barnish, carved by Tyson Smith, and contains the following inscription. To the men and women of this county borough who gave their lives for the liberty of the world and the security of this realm in the World War 1939 to 1945. Their names are recorded in the Book of Remembrance, which lies nearby in the keeping of Christchurch. The fountains added to the memorial pools are dedicated to their honour memory. Remember the men whose names live on these walls, died in youth or prime, that future generations might inherit a happier world, and a human society more righteous and more loving than those brave men and their generations knew.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving us a thumbs up, and maybe leaving a comment. Till next time, bye.